Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gaming For Us 247. We are continuing our road to glory. Uh, Old Dominion quarterback uh, series. We are going up against Texas State, I believe. They are four and two, and of course we are undefeated. Maybe a little tougher of a game this time. But if you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys at the end to do a small recap. Wants to throw on first down. Moving out to the right. Trying to make magic on the scramble. No fear from this freshman quarterback as he picks up the first down himself. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. He'll keep it himself. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five plus yards just and make it look that easy. God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. He'll pull it down. They finally corral him, but he turns that into a big gain and a first down. The Monarchs are moving quickly down the field. Easy. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Easy. Nice job by the defense there, getting a stop on the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage. We know they've been burned a few times early in this game by the QB run, but... And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. The sweet feet buy a little time. And the 35, he's got room. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chain. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. Second down coming up. Here we go. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. They were really starting to put a drive together. But after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback on the move, still looking. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And the Monarchs are in the hurry up. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. There's a couple of ways to deal with quarterbacks that can run like that so well. QB contain. Keep those ends outside and wide, keep them in the pocket, and put a spy on him. Put a guy in the middle of the field who's really fast that has the ability to go get that guy when he takes off in situations like this. Quarterback extends the play. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. The defense has been up to the task so far. Now it's third and goal from the three. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Now, after the misfire, it leaves them with third and goal from the three. He caught it! 
pass in these tight quarters, if you're going to put the ball up, you'd like to think that you'd either have space. Coming out on first down with the play fake. They're working that left side. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Makes the stop at the 35-yard line. They rip off 15 yards on that one, and they are rolling. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. Across the 25, he's got room. Smashes through the tackle. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stops. They've hit him with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. Now the play fake. Moves away as he feels pressure. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. Second and goal for this offense. Man, I love the decision-making right there. Like, drop back the pass, look for your shots. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Monarchs! He didn't see anyone open. Just To the air on first down. Quarterback floating away from pressure. Final play of the quarter, and the ball falls incomplete. Guys, Old Dominion has the lead here as we've reached the end of the quarter. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. They'll go back to the air on second down. He'll pull it down and run. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Well, this defense is on its heels right now, especially trying to stop the run. They're just not being physical enough. They give up another run right there for a first down. Someone's going to have to step up and make a play. Quickly out to the tight end. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an action. I got to hit those guys on the move on the run so they can do this. They can catch the football, get up field, and chew up some extra yards. They'll throw it on first down. Coming after it. He's going to run it. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit and nifty pickup air. Let's see what they've got on second down. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Monarchs have it with the first and ten. Really good patience and recognition. And how about the tight end? Just finding the hole and settling and waiting until the quarterback saw it. And the play completely changes. Once my QB gets outside the pocket, I got to see it and I got to start working towards him. Or if I'm near him working away, nice job being on the same page, getting the first down. Got out of trouble and throws. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. And the Monarchs want to move quickly. They're going to go to the air on 30 short. Got the back over the middle. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning two. That was beautiful. 
They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. I really like the play by the quarterback. Very, very smart. Listen, early in the downs, goal-to-go situation. Drop back. You don't see it right away. Tuck it and get... And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. And third down has been right in the wheelhouse for this offense. Two for two on this drive and trying to do it again and score a touchdown. Dances away from the pressure going to his left. Caught in the backfield, it's Alston. Tripped up for the tackle. He just didn't have a chance to get loose. And Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man on the right. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for now, first and 10 from the 40. Pocket starts to collapse. And midfield, he's got room. And the strategy of just letting the quarterback run until he gets tired is not a winning one. Another explosive play and another first down. Looking to move it through the air. Trying to get to him. Trying to escape and get it himself. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. It's complete to the right. Touchdown, O.D. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contain. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. From the gun, running back on the move. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw. Gets it out fast. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. The Monarchs want to pick up the tempo. He's going to pass on second down. Trying to make magic with his feet. And maybe they try to spy on the quarterback, but it just hasn't worked. Another first down. He just keeps gashing them with his feet. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field. It Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. He'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Back open in the middle. And the defense wrestles him to the ground. They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Just a great job defensively making it. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. Now second and ten. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Guys, Old Dominion has the lead here as we've reached the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings.
Trying to find his man on first down. He's going to take off. Smashes ahead. And he has vexed this defense with scramble after scramble has another first down. An explosive play to start the drive, and they'll try to keep the D on its heels. Now improvising. Going to try to get it himself. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He rifles one deep to the left, and he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. And the Monarchs want to crank the tempo. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating an explosive play. And I love this. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to eat that clock, let it tip down. A field goal here, I'm up by two possessions. I'm still in a very good place. I don't have to get over-aggressive, Jesse, if I don't want to. No, and you can put this game out of reach, too. If you can score a touchdown, this thing's... And he's on his way! He'll go off! He'll pull it on the read. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Well, we saw the coaching staff on the sideline challenging this offensive line to end this game. They've got the lead late now, and they know they're going to continue trying to run the ball to ice it. Buys a little time with his feet. He'll try to do it himself. At the 45 on his way. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. And he was just showing off all of the slick moves before the defense finally got him on the ground. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. They'll try the run. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets it up for the first down. The Monarchs have their offense in high gear. 29 Philly. 2-9 Philly. We have arrived at the two-minute warning. A one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. The give to the tailback. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Oh, and what a move! What a juke, and he makes it past the marker. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. I think if you're offense here, the game boils down to this one play on third down with the lead late. If you get the first down, that's ball game. There's not enough time left for the defense to get it back and go march down the field. So let's dial up our best play offensively. And the quarterback takes a knee. Winning those individual six-second battles every... All right, guys. Good win, good win. That leads to a victory. Uh, we improved to 7-0. and Of course, it got player of the game. Had three total touchdowns. Not too bad.
Um, I will continue this series in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you guys next time. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock.